Uh, this is Richard Symes with my weekly missionary update from March 3rd to March 9th. And we had 29 salvations this week, and we witnessed to 211 people. Uh, we were in Uganda for three days, and the soul winning there was awesome. Uh, most people were receptive, and they spoke English. Uh, the English was a little different. It was more of a, a British English, uh, but that's not too hard to overcome. Uh, we, we even drew crowds a few times. So the soul winning here, you know, it's got a lot of potential. We did have our troubles though. You know, we got caught in a rainstorm. Uh, the power went on and off all the time. And the hotel switched our room three times. But I still think that this would be a great country to, you know, stay and evangelize in. We didn't get in any schools while we were there. You know, we went to a bunch of them. We tried to get in. But basically the problem was it just seemed like they wanted us to set an appointment at a later date. So I think we can get in. We're just going to have to set an appointment because they're more strict with their schedules than they are in the Philippines. In the Philippines, you can basically just show up at a school and they'll let you preach the same day. Uh, but when we got back to Rwanda, we did get a preach in the school that we set an appointment at. Uh, that was called Excella School. Probably the nicest school that we've seen since we've been here. Uh, but that's the one that, you know, let us preach. And that went okay. Uh, we also had an answer to prayer and that God provided us uh, something we needed to easily access all the different countries in Africa. Uh, so praise God for that. Now I am going to go ahead and move my family to Uganda next week. And I'm not saying we're going to stay there permanently, but it's just, it's cheaper there. The people there speak English, they're receptive. So it's just a better place to be, uh, at least uh, right now. I'm still going to try out Kenya and Zambia uh, before I make a decision as to where I want to stay uh, permanently, even though, you know, nothing's really ever permanent here in this life. You know, never know where God's going to bring you. I thought I was going to be in the Philippines the rest of my life. So anyway, God bless. Thanks for watching.